Hey everybody, what's happening? This is High Seas Cindy. I'm High Seas Paul. We're High Seas Cindy and Paul. Yes. Hope everybody's doing well out there and keeping good spirits with everything that's going on. Today's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everybody. I know it's a little hard right now. You can't be with uh, a lot of family and socializing. And guess what? We were supposed to be on the, car uh, the carnival panorama. Yeah. So... <laughs> The last day or two, we've been a little upset. And if anybody knows us or been following our vlogs, they know we've been talking about that a lot. And we were really looking forward yeah. to it a lot. So, you know, but we got our health and things are going pretty good. So, and we got you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And we're doing our weekly chit chat vlog and yes. we're just doing updates. We're not trying to hammer on what every other Yahoo's doing out there on, on uh, YouTube. Yes. So, but we're going to touch on a couple points that people made a couple comments last last week on our chit chat that they were a little mm -hmm. disappointed that maybe we didn't want to jump on August cruises and all that. So let's uh, start here with Cindy on our first topic real quick. Well, we've seen so many different things happening with the cruise industry. Um, of course, um, they uh, they may add another 100 days on to um, not cruising for anybody, right. which maybe would bring it to maybe right. mid-July. Yeah, because uh, we were looking online, and I can't find any cruises up uh, the beginning part of July, so I think that's off the table right now, right? Yes, okay. and then um, we've seen so many awesome deals for August, September, which is like $49. Um, right. Me and Paul, were um, we do live in the Midwest, so we decided if we did jump we on a cruise. We would just down to Galveston. Galveston. Yeah. And we saw um, like the Freedom for um, six, it was for six nights for 169 Yeah, and that was with Chris, too. Chris, yes. And then there was another one on the Carnival Vista. It was like two twenty nine to I saw the lowest is two twenty nine. Now I think now it's up to two forty nine right. for a seven days on right. the Vista. Some amazing deals on the Vista and the Freedom mm -hmm. and uh, even the Glory and, and that out of New Orleans. Um, comment down below and uh, let us know if you would jump on a cruise with you know being the first cruises out here because I think there's going to be some crazy things happening. Like there's, you're gonna have to do a lot more paperwork. Yes, they're gonna be enhancing the yeah. medical. Yeah, um, screening. Sure. They're gonna be like, here, let me get your temperature. You know, make you fill out a maybe a big form right. about you know everything where you've been, if you've right. been in contact with anybody. Right. Um, if you're over seventy, you have to get a doctor's note stating you're fit to cruise. Right. And do you want to be on a cruise and you want to look at everybody? Probably half of the people will be walking around with a mask on. Yeah, and the crew probably will too. So we <laughs> right. won't feel like you're on vacation. Right. I think the whole point of cruising and sailing is to get away from everything in your normal everyday life. To me, that's what it's all about anyways. Another thing is the, a lot of the ports may not be opened either. So they may have to just do, right. you'll be at, at sea for the whole time too. Yeah, so. they may not want you coming in there as we saw you know, the last couple of months before they shut it down. I mean, mm -hmm. Grand Cayman, Jamaica. Yeah. Did Cosmo let people in? Um, I think they did. Yeah, I think Cosmo was pretty cool about that. But definitely Grand, Grand Turk. Cayman, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grand Turk got canceled mm -hmm. there uh, towards the end. So, you know, and so don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm fine staying on the ship, but. You know, but they're gonna, like, do, they're gonna do crowd control though. Right, they're right. like you're gonna have to make reservations for the theater, which is when you're on vacation, who wants to play right. things? Yeah, they're gonna you're gonna probably have to be six feet apart and they're yes. from what I hear online and on their sites, they're gonna only let so many people in the theater, mm -hmm. which you know, that could be a bummer. Yeah, I guess so, if you you know, spend a yeah. whole day drinking or right. having fun and then, you know, you have to go to dinner real quick right. and then hopefully you can get into the theater with you know, yeah. be hard to do. I think our best bet is just to wait and see how it goes. I don't think the the great discounts are going away anytime soon. I'm, you know, I think there's going to be some deals to be had here for a, a little bit. And I would like to cruise when it's a little bit more open and people aren't walking around with face masks and you're getting your temperature checked and 
you know, everybody's freaked out. If so, one person coughs, they might take you to the medical right, place and right. do, uh, get quarantined in yeah. your room. You're coughing too much, sir. Yeah. So. But one thing we do hope they continue is the buffet. Right. How they actually serve you, which is really awesome. Yeah, ice cream I, I think that's cool. I think that's something that needs to stay where they're handing you a plate because how many times, you know, we'll kick back and we'll be eating something or having a drink and then we're watching people. They're like, you know, dropping the tongs in the food or they're like touching the food and then they're mm -hmm. putting it on their plate and putting it back. And we're like, yeah, we're not eating that. No. Enough buffet. <laughs> so hopefully they keep the buffet uh, restrictions in place there. I, th I think that's a good option going forward. A lot of people don't forget to use the hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you're, you're forced to do it, then it's a yeah. better thing. I mean, if you forget, that's one thing. But when you're dropping your tongs in the food and mm -hmm. then you're touching food and taking it on and off. Trust me, I've seen some crazy stuff and this is a short vlog, I'm not gonna get into it, so. <laughs> <laughs> but then um, we did get an offer from um, Carnival this weekend um, to get the Cheers package with 20% off and plus onboard credit. Right. And now I read the fine print that this um, offer is non-refundable, so once you buy it, you have to take it. Right. There's no getting your money back. Yeah, that's in the small print, guys. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta look for that one there. And I kind of think that's the whole thing going on with our thumbnail here. They're taking from Peter to pay Paul. They're not paying me, but, <laughs> you know, they're taking from one, you know, Peter, and they're paying Paul. So they're trying to create a lot of specials right now to get you to pre-advance, prepay, so they can use the money. Because I'm seeing online everywhere people are just blowing up because they can't get their money back. No it's refunds. taken forever to get their money back. When we canceled our panorama, they I moved my main money over to the February panorama, but they told me it's going to take 90 days to get my port fee and tax money back. Okay, so... Luckily, we canceled our excursions. And oh, yeah, things. we did that like a month or so in advance. Because we knew we were, it was going to come down to right. this anyway, so right. we just... Did. We just played a waiting game to get an extra, you know, $400 on board credit, you know. They're playing games, so we're trying to wait out. We're trying to wait them we out. We knew it was going to be a disaster, unfortunately. Yeah. Now, if you want to talk about our upcoming Thanksgiving cruise, the cruise we've been talking a lot about, the Carnival Radiance with that we're looking forward to, that we did the victory on. My final payment's due in August on that, and... Now, we have on? a future cruise credit on this cruise because we they, booked the Mardi Gras. Yeah, they canceled our Mardi Gras because so, that's not going to be ready. So they moved. So we moved all that over to the Radiance. Right. Now they canceled all the November 1st. and Up to November yes. 1st, yeah. And so we're afraid, is it going to get canceled again? Right. So it's like another waiting game. It's like, here we go again. You know, we're really striking out on a lot of cruises. We've done quite a few over the last year, but we were supposed to really do a lot this year. Yes. So I'm a little concerned. I'm probably doing my next week's vlog, an update. I'm thinking about calling Carnival to see if I can push that one maybe to April or May. And hopefully they only charge me $50 and they can roll all that. I'll let you guys know next week on my chit chat vlog uh, what's happening with that. Yeah, because so. we don't want to invest more money into right. this cruise and then right. it gets canceled. And right. Big disaster. Yeah, they want you to keep pumping money into them, but I could be getting interest on that money or I could be making other investments and making money on that. So I'm getting a little hesitant to keep shoving them money yes. and not getting nothing in return, except getting pushed further out. Yeah, because like I said, Paul was saying on um, Facebook pages, we've seen people like quit giving them money because we haven't got our money. Right, and it's, right. it's kind of, you right. know. I think that year's package is a little too good to pass up though. 20% off with an extra $100 onboard credit. That'll give us $800 total onboard credit on that panorama. But the bad thing is if they cancel your cruise, it may take up to three months to get your money back on that, plus the you know your cruise. Yeah. So that's a lot of money they're holding. Yeah. I think in our best interest right now, and I know, uh, we like I said, we had a couple of people comment they were a little disappointed that we weren't jumping on cruises right away. That we're just going to kind of wait here. Yes. And I don't think these great deals are going anywhere right now. So don't don't feel panicked that you have to be on, you know, the first great deal you see. There, I think there's going to be great deals out there for I some agree. time. Yes. So, well, before we end this, is there anything else you want to no, hit think topics on? I mean, we talk about maybe like Paul was saying, you know, if you do jump on the first cruise, 
you may be quarantined for 14 days from your boss and stuff like that too so you gotta like us i've been off work for almost you know yeah. and hey that's a great point I noticed they're also, if you're over 70 years old now, you have to bring a doctor's note yes. on the ship to get on that ship. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind, guys. Yeah. That's another, you know, thing they've got going on. So I think we'll just wait, you know, and hey, if everything starts going good and everything's going great and they get back to normal cruising, then the, the deals are there, guys. The deals are there. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. So, but I'm in no big hurry to continue giving them money with nothing in return yeah. so and that's kind of where that thumbnail came from there yeah so stay tuned for next week mm -hmm. we'll do our weekly update on our cruise chit chat and i just didn't want to go in with all the cdc because i know everybody out there is doing it so i'm just doing this for our subscribers and people following us to keep you updated what's going on with us and yeah comment down below let us know if yeah. you guys gonna be jumping on a cruise yep. you know anytime soon and yeah we got a lot of videos yet to come out mm -hmm. we still got to finish off one or two on the horizon yeah. we got to finish off our uh, highs and lows on the sunrise and we got to start our um carnival magic which is yes. going to be a blast we had an amazing time and awesome we met some amazing people on the magic that that was a ride i love the magic the magic's a good mm -hmm. time so beautiful ship yep if you guys haven't think about subscribing and if you can hit the thumbs up guys we appreciate your yeah. support and I hope everybody has a happy Easter, the best you can. Mm -hmm. And soon, guys, unfortunately, we're not drinking today, so no. <laughs> there's no toast today. No. But anyways, guys, take care, be safe, and look forward to our next week's chit-chat for updates on.